What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and in today's video, I'm going to show you something super simple but may be of incredible use to you if you're struggling with Discord. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make the text inside of Discord a lot bigger and easier to read. So first, I'll simply open up Discord either in the web application or in a browser. Then after signing in, I'll head across to user settings by clicking the cog in the bottom left of Discord. Then I'll head down to the appearance tab and we'll see this over here. Not only can we change it in and out of light mode, dark mode, etc, etc. Scrolling down to the bottom, we have accessibility. If you're wondering what these options do, at the very top of this page, we have a preview. What I'm going to do is make it a bit bigger vertically so we can see exactly what's happening. By adjusting the chat font scaling, you can see that it makes the text a lot bigger and easier to read. You can of course have the opposite where you make it smaller so you can fit more on your high resolution screen. If you want to know what the default is, it's simply the text that's highlighted in green. You can make it bigger or smaller. Then we have the space between message groups. If I shrink it up, you can see that these images and names get pushed together, though the actual messages that are on new lines aren't pushed apart. This is only for different people or when someone posts messages at times that are different enough that they'll be separated by a gap. You can of course minimize this to zero to have no gap between messages. By default, it's 16, which is the same as the font over here. Then at the very bottom, we have the zoom level. This is something that you're not recommended to play around with because making this bigger zooms in the entire program and not just the text. If you make it too zoomed in, then it may be difficult to interact with the actual window itself. And if we shrink it too small, you'll have the same just in the other direction. By default, it's 100. Because Discord is simply a web app that we can download, you can hold down control and hit plus or minus on your keyboard to zoom in and out of Discord. This is of course the same for basically any other web page in any other browser. And of course, if you're struggling with things at the very bottom, we have reduced emotion. Reduce the amount and intensity of animations, hover effects and other moving effects across Discord. Simply unchecking this and enabling or disabling reduced motion means that animations when transitioning between pages is a lot easier to see and understand. If I enable this again, you can see that minimizing things zooms in and out when I'm going in and out of a screen. Instead, when you have reduced motion on, it just fades in and out, which makes things a lot easier to see if you're struggling with the zooming in and zooming out effects of Discord. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found it somewhat useful. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.